Hello friends. Today we are going to read Sir P the Snake. The author is Rajiv Tambe. The illustrator is Rijuta Ghate and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Sir P the Snake. So what do you see in this picture? You see the snake and I think his name is Sir P. So what does he do? Let's read the book and see. In a thick dark forest lived Sir P the snake. A snake does not have legs. A snake cannot walk. It cannot run. A snake does not have wings. A snake cannot fly. A snake cannot swim in a straight line. So here we see Serpy and he lives in a thick dark forest and here are some things about snakes. These are some things you may know. So a snake does not have legs. Have you seen a snake? Does it have legs? Have you seen it walk? And have you seen it run? No, right? A snake is on the ground only. It is slithering. It is crawling on the ground. A snake also cannot fly. It doesn't have wings. And does it ever go in a straight line? No. But Sir P wanted to walk, run, fly and swim in a straight line. That was all he could think of. So it looks like Sir P is only thinking and dreaming about walking or running or flying in a straight line. So he sees these bamboos and he is dreaming about being straight, as straight as the bamboo. If I had legs, I would walk in a straight line. If I had wings, I would fly in a straight line. So here again, Serpy is dreaming about going straight. So here he is picturing that he has wings and he is going straight. See his body here. And here also he is imagining he is swimming in a very straight line. But oh, I am so weird. I can't walk straight, can't run straight. I can't fly straight, can't swim straight. I can only slither. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. So he is thinking, why am I so weird? I cannot do anything straight. I cannot walk, run, fly or swim in a straight line. I can only slither. That is crawling very close to the ground because the snake doesn't have legs, right? So it is moving by pushing itself forward with its body that is slithering. And it is going always zig, zag, zig, zag. It is not going straight. Serpy saw some birds flying in the sky one day. They were going up, going down, going around in circles and arcs. Not a single bird was flying straight. This made Serpy think. So here is the snake again and he is looking at these birds flying in the sky. And are they going straight? No, they are going up, going down and they are going in circles. They are going round and round and in arcs. But they are also not going straight. Looking across the plains one day, Serpy saw some fawns. The fawns ran here and there. 
they ran in the most zigzag way. Not a single fawn walked in a straight line. This made Serpy think. So next, what does Serpy see? He sees some fawns, some baby deer. And again, what does he see? That they are also not running straight. They are running in a zigzag way. And again, he starts thinking, hmm, maybe it's not so bad what Sir P can do. What else does he see? Let's see. Sir P went towards the river. The fish in the river wiggled and waggled as they swam. This made Sir P think. So here again are the fish. Are they swimming straight? No. They are going like this. They are wiggling and waggling. Serpy sat on the river bank, lost in thought. Just then, a crab came by. Serpy moved aside. The crab walked past, but not in a straight line. The crab had half a dozen legs and yet could not walk straight. This made Sir P think some more. So next Sir P sees this crab and the crab is also not walking straight. The crab has half a dozen legs, six legs. And even with all those legs, the crab is not able to walk straight. He has to go sideways. And Sir P has been thinking, hey, I want legs so that I can walk straight. But even with the six legs, the crab cannot walk straight. Sir P thought, did he really need wings? Did he really want those legs? Now zigzag, then crisscross is not the way he moved. So, Sir P is now thinking, what does he think? Does he need wings or legs? So, he sees the birds with wings. He sees the deer, the baby deer with legs and the crab. And he sees that even with wings or legs, they are not going straight. They are going zigzag. They are going crisscross. They are going sideways. They are going up and down. And they are not going straight. And does he really want to do that? He is not moving that way. I am fine the way I am. My slithering ways are always the same. My zigzag ways are the same each day. And the rest of them are silly any which way. So what does he finally decide? He decides that he is happy with how he is. He doesn't want wings. He doesn't want legs. It doesn't matter because he feels that because he moves the same way every day by slithering, by going zigzag, but he is doing this the same way every day. Whereas the birds, the fawns, they are changing direction. They're doing different things every day. And he doesn't want that. He likes the way he moves. So he is happy now without his, without any wings, without any legs and just moving the way he does. Do it yourself. Draw five geometric shapes made out of straight lines. Name five animals that move in funny ways. Look around you. See if you can spot at least five living things that are made up of straight lines. So in this exercise, you have to draw five shapes out of straight lines. Can you think of some shapes? 
like square, rectangle, pentagon, etc. That's what they want you to draw. And then you have to name five animals that move in funny ways. In this story, you heard about crabs that move sideways. And you read about serpy that slithers and goes zigzag. What else have you seen? Animal, bird that doesn't move straight. And look around you and see if you can spot at least five living things that are made up of straight lines. So in this story, you saw Serpy looking at the bamboo, which is very straight, right? Is there anything else you see around you that is also straight? I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are slither, to move by twisting on the ground without using legs. Fawn, baby deer. Wiggle or waggle, to move from side to side with quick movements. Try these questions. Try the exercise at the end of the story. Why does Sir P want to move straight? What makes him realize that he is happy the way he is? Have you ever wished you were like others? Write about it.